this is the haul section of this, as you'll see. The reason, well, for that, it's not because I need to focus the camera, but um, as you saw in the slideshow, this is some of like the just stuff I've seen. Mainly it's Harry Potter stuff that I took pictures of. But anyway. Uh, I'll just do this. Uh, I got this one at the works for one pound. The white card. I Last time I was there I was looking for a white card but I couldn't see any. So I got the colored card. So now I got the white card. Um, that's the only thing I got at the works. I got this. <laughs> Bridget Jones' baby. Um, I think it was, this is the third video in the series, I believe, I think. I've got the first two, but when I was re-looking through my collection, I I left a space for this one. So, yes, I believe it, this one is the one I was missing. If not, then I'll have to return it. Um, next, we went to the Kingdom of Sweets. I'm not doing this in order, by the way, I'm just doing it the way I'm, order I'm taking out of the bag. Um, anyway, here it is. The, this is the version that I first saw, so, the strawberry flavored fruit roll-ups. I'm ignoring the unicorn tongue tattoos, but, uh, for all fruit roll-ups, you stick your tongue on the picture on the fruit roll-up, it'll transfer to your tongue for a little while. I can't remember how long it stays there, but it wouldn't stay there very long anyway. But yeah, pack of ten. I haven't had fruit roll-ups in ages, so why not? Because I like fruit roll-ups, at least. I remember I liked them like 15, 16 years ago. So I'm gonna have some again. Why not? Ah, I've got these three millimeter adhesive gems in both gold and silver, or white. Um, I figured these ones would be cool to stick on the bookmarks I was thinking of making. They would do well. They'd probably do well better on black card, but they help. Um, oh yeah, this was at Poundland, so these two were a pound each. I got some more stuff from Poundland. Loads of washi tape. <laughs> so first of all, got um, border tape. That cool. I got another border tape as well, in a different design. Or it's the same design, but a different color. No, no, it's different design. I think. Is that roses? I don't know. But it's a different design, different colors. So that what? I'm gonna lift the bag up because I can't come from bending over. Right, so next, the washi tapes or whatever tapes they call it, is a let's celebrate birthday ones. So we've got candles, a happy birthday, and what is it, confetti or whatever. Three meter rolls. I figured that before. And that was only a pound two. And we got some silver, I have no idea, hearts, crosses, stripes, stripes in a different direction, like arrowy type things, and stars. Yes. Then, another set. I went a bit extra with this because they're like one pound each, so why not? Here is a uh, happy day. Leaves, some circle of diamonds in it, r roses, cross, whatever, what you'd find on a Christmas jumper design, and enjoy the little things from the bottom. Then we have these hearts, roses. something with love. I have no idea. Is it with live with love? 
what it says? I have no idea. Some circles and some more hearts. Okay, so that's that. In total, I got one, two, three, four, five, six washi tails. Still four left. This is the seventh set. And I got six, so this six, twelve, eighteen, eighteen. I'm terrible at mental math. Sorry about this. One, two, three, four. So 24. Six, four is 24, aren't they? Four, five, six, four, seven, eight, nine, thirty, three, one, two, two, three. Washi tapes. Sweet. And of course, I don't count the four. I, uh, buy. I don't count if it's, I don't count the price. <laughs> but anyway, um, Here's some goldy kind of ones. One says love, one has diamonds, one has like flowery, Celtic y looking thing. Hearts, just plain gold. It's gold circles. So that's the goldy one. So that's awesome. <laughs> and the next thing are these. Because I really like them. And like this is Poundland, so they have food, grocery shops, and whatever. Oh, I'm just getting into it. Um, no, I was just, I was just reading that bit. Anyway, it says great value. So it's kind of extra or something? I don't know. Oh, and they're packaged um, two biscuits per individual pack. That's nice. Snack packs 18 and times two. So 18 of the two packs. Two times table does not go past twelve. So if I, I get well, okay, eight, eight, sixteen. That's two. Thirty-two. Is it? I suck at math. Please don't kill me. Um. So let's say it's thirty-two. Hmm times three. I did get another one, but that's for the dining room table for anybody else to eat. But yes, I'm not going to do 32 times three because that's just asking too much of me here. <laughs> so that, that's, that's that. This one just look lovely. Um, okay, next up. We've got uh, I also traveled to the pen and paper shop. I'm slightly annoyed that some of my soup spilled in the bag and it got the side edges and a tiny corner of the first page. At least only the first page, I think, of this. And this is my Paint On Multi Techniques A540 paged uh, book for me to paint on or whatever. So, not sure why I got it really because I've got another watercolor pad thing. And another one. But this one. Not bad. I mean, this one says it was only four pounds seventy-five. This is from the pen and paper shopping cart. I thought, why not? Yeah. And it's got it's a good like mini print size. Okay. So take going away from the pen and paper store for a second. I got these three lovely pins, which did kind of, well, at least one of them got souped on, but luckily you can wipe it off the pin, and the packaging is not so bad. I mean, it was only brown-ish to begin with, so you can't see anything. And first of all, it's this lovely Deathly Hollows pin. Secondly, it's done with the muggles get you down of the boat. 
hope you did see this properly, right? Then lastly, it is, I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good with some Marauder Map footprints. So I thought that was pretty cool nifty. These were from Hamleys. Okay, now back to um, the works. No. Sorry. Back to... Ooh, this one was not quite right off. One second. Okay. There's a... Uh, we'll finish the pen and paper stuff, then we'll go to the waterstone stuff, because the other waterstone stuff are upstairs drying off in my sister's room by the window. Because I can't reach my window unless I can't my bathroom window. Anyway. I will get back to that. Okay, going back to the work. Yeah. Um, I just need to get it out of this. I think my sister forgot to take it, take it out of this packaging. Because I guess she forgot there was a hole. And I lost the trash bag. Whoops. Okay, so I guess. Yeah. It's not too bad because I. The other. Pins there have the same. You know what? I'm not sure if that is the same or something. Okay, that will. If it's the same thing, if I'm looking at it correctly from all the way over here, then I will probably put in a giveaway actually. I haven't done a giveaway in a while. Especially when Harry Potter related. Okay. That is the pen is super resistant. <laughs> we call it that. So I just wrap it up so I don't get anything else smacky. And get that to the Getting these things out that are similar to each other. Okay, we have a barrel paper sign. And another fine. Because those are the fine sizes. And here are the broad sizes for my fine lining. Yeah, stuff that right there. For my fine lining. And I've lost it down there. Okay, yes. I'm just... I don't think it's falling off the bed here because I'm going to have to pick it up. Right. Okay, so. And here. We have a very lovely, kind of softy feel, a Pro Art Acrylics 204 England paintbrush. It's very posh looking and it was £9.70. So these mini paintbrushes here, a three slash zero and a four slash zero. Obviously they're two different sizes. And white nylon Pro Art Polar. Or Polar. Whatever you say. So those are two tiny ones. So I figured if I'm going to try and paint uh, unsuccessfully a Pokemon card, 
I need small paintbrushes to actually do that. Okay, so on some of these, actually wait, wait, wait. I'm going to get a couple of these out because they're not part of that deal. So like. So I finally got some white pens, but while well, I was looking at the white pens, I came across these gold ones too, so I thought, why not? They were pretty cool on my bookmark or something, I thought. So here is a gold Pilot Super Color Gold Fine. A, ah, I'm dropping things. A Extra Fine. And a medium. These, I believe, are paint pens, maybe? I mean, it's got a sound to it, so I think they're paint pens. Okay, now for the white ones, I got four. Three of them are Pilot Super Color, and one of them is Uni Paint Marker. So I'm gonna try it and do something different. So we've got a uh, fine. Pilot paper color, a, another fine, I don't think I found an, oh, I got an extra fine one, but in a medium, and the uni paint marker is a uh, 0 0.8 to 1.2 millimeters. That's Okay, so I was a bit spare <laughs> on the pens, believe it or not. And so, it was a buy one get the other half off, so why not, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, I like deals, you know, so I've got a um, super ink marker, permanent marker, oil base, that thing there and I actually got two of those because on their try tester pad thing I like the way it wrote because it's very very dark clear ink like or something like that. Next up we have a uni uniball eye broad and the black pen. Then we have a Uniball Signo uh, Green Glittery Pen it's More like a gel pen really More like a pen pen Gel pen See? Sparkle sparkle I'm going to go with the sparkles I got a silver one I couldn't find a gold sparkly one so now I'm looking at it, is it sparkle sparkle or just the case that's sparkly? I don't know. But that is a uniball signal. Another uniball signal is this shiny gold. Okay, now we have four white pens. So two of them are the same, which are these Pilot G. Minus 207 ones that I'm going to try out. Frequently which is a good pen for me. Here we have a hybrid gel grip. So that's another white one. And the third white one, which I'm told is very good, is a Uniball Signo. I think the Uniball Signos are supposed to be pretty pretty awesome. So those are all the pens. <laughs> um, I, I spent quite a bit because, like, yeah. Okay, last up, we are going to go to Waterworks, and I'll pause. Um, go to another.
clip after I finish this part because I'll have to actually get the books from upstairs. So, well, keeping inside the murky tissue to keep everything else not murky. If you see the soup stains, here is the Harry Potter nine and three quarters pin. Then I got this pin because I don't believe I got it. I got. Yeah, I got the uh, Hogwarts Crest one, which I think I actually got again, because this was a different store. <laughs> um, I got the Slytherin Crest one, because for some odd reason, this one was not in Hamleys, but the other crests were, and I found these at Waterstones, which is nice. Super nice. Um, so I think my sister misplaced my Hogwarts house one upstairs with the books or in the kitchen somewhere when she was drying stuff off. Alright, okay, so I shall move to that clip now. Or I mean, the continuation of this after I get the books from upstairs. <laughs> 